Good evening, my name is Mr. Al Hassan. So in today's lesson, what we're going to be focusing on is how do I balance an equation with two unknowns on both sides? Now, as always, I'm going to go through a couple of examples and then I'll put the questions on the board and then you, you can mark it. Okay. So what we have first is our first example. Let's grab my pen. Is 2x plus 3 equals x plus 5. Now, when you solve equations that have Two unknowns on both sides of the equation. The first thing you need to do is to have is to isolate all the x variables to one side of the equation and all the numbers on the right hand side of the equation. Now we have an x variable on the right hand side of the equation. I want to eliminate, and the way we can eliminate is by minusing it by x. X over here, and we have minus x over here. Now 2x minus x gives us 1x, so we've got x plus 3 equals to 5. Now, at this point, we have x plus 3 equals 5. I want to eliminate this 3. I want to cancel it out. And again, the way we can cancel it out is by minusing 3 from both sides. So we're going to minus 3 over here and minus 3 over here. And what we have is x is equal to 2 our final answer. Now you can always check whether or not this is correct by putting it back into the equation. So we have two open brackets, two plus three equals two plus five. Two times two is four. Four plus three is seven. And seven on this side. Okay, so I know that our final answer is seven. Our second example is 3x plus 2 equals x plus 8. Again, what we need to do is I'm going to minus x on the right-hand side. Keep all the x variables on the left-hand side of the equation. And what we have is 2x plus 2 equals 8. I'm then going to minus 2 again from both sides. We have 2x is equal to 6. I'm going to divide each of the coefficients by 2. So we have x is equal to 3. And again, you can check whether it's correct or not by putting it back into the equation. So you have 3 open brackets, 3 close brackets, plus 2 equals 3 plus 8. We have 3 times 3, 9 plus 2, 11. 3 plus the 8, 11. Okay, so I know that this is correct. Our third example is 5x plus 2 equals 2x plus 8. Now, as always, what we need to do first is to eliminate the variable, the x variable on the right-hand side of the equation and um, keep all the x variables on the left-hand side of the equation. So I'm going to minus 2x over here minus 2x over here. What we left was 3x plus 2 equals 8. We're then going to minus 2 from here, minus 2 from here. So my positive 2 minus 2 cancels up, gives 0. 8 minus the 2 is 6. So 3x minus 6, sorry, 3x equals 6. What do you need to multiply 3 by to give us um, 6? Well, x is equal to 2. And again, you can check your answer whether it's correct or not by putting it back into the equation. And what we have over here, our uh, sixth example is 2x plus 1 equals 4x plus 5. Again, I'm going to minus 4x from both sides. And what we have is minus 2x plus 1 equals 5. I'm then going to minus 1 from here, from the left-hand side of the equation, and minus 1 from the right-hand side of the equation. We have a minus 2x is equal to 4. I'm then going to divide both sides by negative 2. And what we have is negative 2 times, negative 2 divided by negative 2 gives us positive. So x is equal to minus 2. 
and that's our final answer. And again, you can always check whether it's correct or not by putting it back into the equation. So and that's the answer, and let's do a couple more. And what we have over here, we have 4x minus 2 equals 2x plus 4. I'm going to minus 2x over here, again, get rid of the x variable on the right hand side of the equation, and minus 2x over here. Now 4x minus 2x gives us 2x minus 2 equals 4. I'm then going to add 2 to both sides of the equation. So negative 2 plus 2 cancels out, gives us 0. We have 4 plus the 2 gives us 6, so 2x is equal to 6. Uh, what do you need to multiply the 2 by to give us the 6? Um, x is equal to 3. And that's our final answer. Now, this example, slightly different, is rearranged differently, but the same concept applies. We have a negative 2x. I'm going to add 2x over here and 2x over here. We have 9x plus 2x gives us 11x plus 2 equals to 24. I'm then going to minus the 2 on both sides. Positive 2 minus 2 gives us 0. So we have 11x is equal to 22. What do you need to multiply the 11 by to give us 22? Well, x is equal to 2. And that's our final answer. And again, you can always check whether it's correct or not by putting it back into the equation and making sure that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. A um, couple more examples. Uh, this example, we have a negative 3x. I'm going to add 3x to both sides because negative 3x plus 3x gives us 0, so it cancels out. I'm going to add 3x over here. And what we have is minus 6x plus 3, 3x gives us minus 3x plus 10 is equal to minus 14. I'm then going to minus 10 from both sides. So what we have is minus 3x is equal to minus 24. Now you're going to divide both the numbers by negative 3x. Uh, x is equal to 8. And that's our final answer. Okay. And our last example, we have minus 8x plus 6 equals minus 5x plus 9. Again, I, as always, I like to eliminate the x variable on the right-hand side of the equation. To do that, we're going to do the inverse operation. We're going to add plus 5x plus 5x. We have 8x plus 5x gives us minus 3x plus 6 equals to 9. I'm then going to subtract 6 from both sides of the equations. And what we're left with is minus 3x is equal to 3. What would what do I need to multiply the negative 3 to give us 3? x is equal to negative 1. And you can always check whether it's correct or not by putting it back into the equation as always. And you should have the, you should have the left hand side of the equation equal to the right hand side of the equation. Okay. Um, these are test yourself questions. Um, you can pause the video and give it a go. Um, so we have 5n plus 4 equals 58 minus 4n. We have 2z plus 4 equals 5z minus 5. 5w plus 5 equals 2w plus 14. We have 29 minus 3v equals 5v plus 5. Okay, so uh, pause the video and have a go at these questions. And you can start on the uh, green section and work your way to the red section. Okay, have a good evening. Bye.